Hello learners, welcome to the YouTube channel of Cloudy ML. Today we are going to begin with a new playlist which is of statistics interview questions. In this playlist we are going to cover very interesting questions that are frequently asked in statistics interviews. Okay, so uh, do subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And let's begin with the first uh, session of this playlist. Uh, in this, we are going to cover one question related to statistics that is very frequently asked in the interviews. So let's begin. The question is, what is the meaning of the fine number summary in statistics? So this question focuses on the topic fine number summary. So basically, fine number summary uh, is especially used in descriptive analysis. Okay, you might have heard the term descriptive analysis or also during the preliminary investigation of a large data set. It basically gives you a rough idea about what your data set looks like. Uh, it, it includes of five items. So first is the minimum value, then the Q1, which is also called as the first quartile or the 25% mark, then the median, then the third quartile or the 75% mark and the maximum. So in this diagram, you can clearly understand. So this is the box plot, okay? Basically, uh, these values are denoted graphically using a box plot, wherein this is the distribution of the values on the scale. And this over here is the minimum value, this point. Then this line over here represents Q1, which is the first quartile, 25% of the value. Then the median over here in the middle, then the third quartile and the maximum value. So basically, uh, this will tell you a distribution of your values. So, see, uh, the minimum and the maximum value, we can understand that by minimum and maximum value, it will give you the information that what are the values, that in how much range are the values spread, which means suppose if the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 10. So, all the values will be present in between 0 and 10, okay? Simply, uh, and also similarly, uh, suppose uh, this is Q1, the 25% mark. So, it will tell us that what is the 25th percent of the entire data. Similarly, for the median, it will give you the middlemost value. So, this can be used for preliminary investigation of the data to get a rough a uh, rough idea about what the data set data looks like and also to identify skewness in the data okay so these are the uses of the fine number summary in statistics and now let's see how we need to calculate fine number summary statistics this example we're going to take this example wherein there's a data set like this uh, certain numbers are given and we will be finding out or the values like minimum value, the first quartile, second, uh, third quartile, 50th percentile, which is the median, and also the maximum value. So, for doing that, okay, so let's write down these values first so that we can solve it further. The values are 11, 23, then we have 32, then 26, 16, 19, 30, 14, 16, and 10. So basically, this is our data set. Now, first, minimum value. Minimum value you can clearly identify from the entire data, which will be 10. And also, similarly, maximum value also you can clearly identify, which is 32. Okay, so but for the other values, the Q1, which is the 25th percentile, okay, we'll be seeing a formula for it. You can find it out by using 25 upon 100, which denotes 25 percentile, into n plus 1. n plus 1, which n will be the total number of elements, okay, whatever number of rows or data is present, plus 1. So in our case, there are 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एलिमेंट सो यूर वी हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन हंड्रेड इंटू इलेवन राइट सो वाई सॉल्विंग विल गेट द वैल्यू एस टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव विच इज क्लोजली इक्वल टू थ्री सो द थर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ द डेटा विल रिप्रेजेंट द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ परसेंट आई योर थर्ड वैल्यू ओके थर्ड वैल्यू एज इन अरेंजिंग इन द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके सो लेट्स अरेंज इट फर्स्ट दिस विल बी टेन देन इलेवन फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन अगेन वी हैव अनदर सिक्सटीन देन नाइनटीन देन ट्वेंटी थ्री देन ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टी एंड थर्टी टू दिस इज द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो इन द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर द थर्ड प्लेस इज फोर्टीन so this will be your twenty fifth percentile mark, which is fourteen. Similarly, the fiftieth percentile mark or the median, you will get it by calculating uh, the middlemost value over here. So it will be sixteen plus nineteen upon two, okay, which will give us seventeen point five. So seventeen point five is the median of this entire data. Okay, how do we get sixteen plus nineteen? Because here you see we have ten elements of them. Sixteen is repeated twice, and see, uh, leaving four elements from each side. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So sixteen and nineteen are the middle most values. So you will simply add and then divide by two to get the average, which is seventeen point five. So this is the median value. Similarly, for the third quartile. Which is seventy five percent. The formula is seventy five upon hundred into n plus one, which is eleven. You by solving, you will get it as eight point two five, which is equal to eight. So the eighth value over here is twenty six. So twenty six is the uh, Q three value. Okay, yeah, so this is how you find the five number summary statistics in statistics. Okay, so. we got the five values which we can use further for the analysis so this is how you will explain uh, the five number statistics basically whenever you it is asked in a interview basically you will first tell you will define it that what it exactly is and all the elements in it okay whatever five elements we saw you will explain that then you will explain the uses that where it is used and then you can if the interview permits then you can show it with an example as well so these are the three basic steps like how you will explain this question and yes uh, if you follow these steps properly and give point to point answers then this you will be uh, clearing this question so thank you for watching this video uh, i hope you liked it and if you like then if you like it then share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you we'll be meeting in the next video with another statistics interview question till then stay tuned